Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about how to use placement vision inside the Cadence PCB tools. So placement vision actually gives you a graphical representation um, of any electrical based timing rules that you may well have set in your design. So when you're placing a component, obviously I, if I go into placement edit mode and I pick up this IC, you'll see I, I can see the rat's nest here. I've got no indication if I'm going to meet my, uh, my constraints or my electrical rules here. Um, so it'd be nice if I could uh, effectively have a color of the rat's nest maybe changing from red to green or, or something like that. And that's effectively what um, placement vision does. And the way we would set it up is we would start off in constraint manager. So let's go to setup constraints. Uh, we've got to be in either a total edge length workbook or the min max propagation delay workbook uh, for this to kind of this functionality to work. And what I need to do is I, I've effectively I've got I've got a DQ bus here. And I'm just going to set maybe a minimum and maximum uh, propagation delay value uh, for this DQ bus. So I'll maybe set the, the minimum to 11, the maximum to 23 millimeters. Now at the moment, um, these are all yellow. Having the column header as yellow is an indication that the DRC mode is not enabled. So we can either just do a right mouse button analysis mode to turn it on here. Or we can go to analyze analysis modes. And if we look at our electrical workbook or electrical sections, uh, we've effectively got the propagation delay. So let's just turn on the propagation delay. I'd also make sure from an unrooted point of view that you have the, the DRC unrooted as well enabled for this kind of functionality. So if I click OK, you'll find that obviously I get some greens for the minimum length. So I'm meeting the minimum length. I'm not meeting the maximum length. I'm obviously a bit too long than that. So I want to try and get these to, to sort out. So if I then come in and again, placement edit mode, we'll pick up the component. You'll now see that the, the, the nets that have that bus member are effectively a red or green. And the way I would enable this, I forgot to do a step there, I do apologize. So we go to uh, display and then vision manager. And then in vision manager, we've got um, an option here called placement vision. So we've got fail for red, pass for green. Um, we're doing it on the design, then I'm going to do it on rat's nest timing. You can also do this on next X nest as well, but I'm just going to cover the rat's nest timing for now. But obviously if we click on the little, the little question mark here, this will give us an indication about what's actually going to happen for the, the rat's nest timing, and we do the same for the x nets. you can see what's happening for the x nets. So it's worthwhile having a look at these little help buttons uh, to give you an idea of what you're trying to do. Then when obviously I pick up this component and I start to move, you'll see effectively the rat's nest that are in that, that DQ bus, they're going to red, and as soon as I start to meet the constraint, you can see them changing to green, Let's just go from red to green. So I get all of them to go to green, that looks good. I can then effectively go and place that component down, and I know that I'll be able to meet my timing constraints. Let's bring the other IC in. Again, we're going from red to green. They've all gone green. That's all good. So if I then uh, complete the command, if we then go back to Constraint Manager, we can look at our workbook. Uh, so min max propagation delays, and you can see we're all green. So we're actually meeting the constraint from a, a, a placed component, so we can then go and route successfully.